Yo, what's good, everybody, man? We are back with another day of Doula, another day of being charged up. And today we're going to see what if Steph Curry, Kobe Bryant, and Shaq all played together during their NBA careers. So we're here in 2K23, and we're starting off in the year of 1996, Kobe's rookie season, because he's the best player out of the three. So we're starting here. Kobe as a rookie, 83 overall. We got Shaq as a rookie, 84 overall. And then Steph Curry as a rookie, 83 overall. And this might be the best trio we ever do of all time. So before we get into it, man, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. We are posting every single day. And honestly, bro, like I'm not tired at all. I can keep going. I can start doing two a days, but then that's just too much content. So if you guys want to see more videos, drop a like and then comment down below what y'all want to see next. Like what type of players should I team up together? This is fun. We have infinite type of combinations. Uh, so let me know what you want to see next. All right, with that being said, man, here's why I think this trio is going to be amazing because we have one of the best centers of all time arguably the best center of all time, most dominant. Then we have one of the best scorers, and then one of the best shooters. So Kobe and Shaq already, they three-peated in their careers. Curry won multiple rings. Now we're teaming up the best players. I can see us winning at least five rings, closer to 10. So in 1996, three-point shooting wasn't really a thing. The best players in the league in 96 were Hakeem Olajuwon, Reggie Miller, Jordan, Grant Hill and then low 90 overall players. So that's room for us to dominate in LA, in the West. So let's start by going to All-Star break and seeing how we do. You guys comment down below. Okay, this might be controversial. Do you think Curry will retire better than Shaq and Kobe all time? A lot of people have Kobe their top three all time, which is valid, but some might say he's like top five, top six. I think Curry's the top five player of all time, at least by the time he retires. Cause I have LeBron, Jordan, uh, we got to put in Tim Duncan for sure. And then maybe Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, you know, Kobe, Curry. It's tough. But I think Curry has to be in the top five when it's all said and done. Especially if he wins another ring. That might be a casual take, but as you guys know, you know, I'm familiar with ball. I know what I'm talking about. And our record so far is 26 and 21 at All-Star break. Shaq averaging 22, 12, 2.5 blocks. Curry's averaging 20 and 8 assists. What's his three-point tendency looking like, though? He, oh, yeah. He's taking plenty. His tendencies are looking great. He's taking 120 made threes already. And then uh, Kobe is averaging 14. So the rotation looks like this. We have Curry, Kobe, Jerome, Kersey, rest in peace, Shaq, and then Eddie Jones off the bench. I bet we end off as the third seed in the West. Also, Grant Hill gets MVP. And, you know, if, his, if he didn't get injured during his career, maybe this would have happened. Shaq is rookie of the year, so he ends up being the best so far. 22, 13, and then 2.7 blocks. He should be defensive player of the year. It's Antonio McDice. A lot of people don't know, don't know about uh, Antonio McDice. He played for my Pistons once upon a time, but 24, 12, and three blocks. I don't think he was all that, but hey man, 2K loves him. Most improved player. And then all NBA first team, we have Shaq. All NBA second team, no. And then Curry, all NBA third team. Dope, I will take it. So we end off as the sixth seed, so not what I predicted. Let's just see how we finished off. Kobe's 85 overall, he averaged 14, and then Curry finished off with 20 and eight. I feel like he made the most threes in his season, in his rookie year, let's see. Yup, Curry breaks the record with 220 made. I don't know why it says Rockets, that's probably a glitch because this is not the Rockets. Now we're up against the Kings, Sacramento Kings. I don't know how good they were in 97. Billy Owens, I don't know who he is. He has to be a real person for sure, right? Let's just make sure, maybe it's, make sure. Yeah, yeah, you know, he's a real person. He's 54 years old. He's, he's, uh, he was a first round pick. Oh, he was a third pick in the 91 draft. Yeah, it's embarrassing, I should've known. I mean, he probably, he's probably like a nobody. Respectfully, Mitch Richmond, we all know about him. You know, my twin, my twin with Tourette's, Mahmoud Abdul Raouf, you know, he's a beast. We got Lionel Simmons, um, not too familiar with him. Just a, a familiar name in these videos. And then Pager, who's a three-point sniper. I, I think I think Kobe could take, you know, Billy Owens. That's such a 90s name, too, Billy Owens. Like, All right, game one, we take it. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Wait, wait a minute. Hold on now, 2-2, two, two, come on. We're down 3-2, and, and, and wait, why? Oh, oh, it just hit me. I was wondering, I was confused. Best of three, is uh, first three wins. That's stupid, okay. We lost in game five. Billy only dropped 28. Yeah, I didn't even, I forgot this is best of five. I, that's so dumb. It's all good though. First season was kind of a failure. And will the Kings go all the way? Yeah, 
Wow, we lost to the champs. I'm not even mad at it. Shout out to Billy Owens. Learn something new every day. All right, year two. Shaq jumps to a 90 overall. Kobe and Curry both 89 overall. So yeah, we're about to hit our stride very early. Usually it takes Kobe a minute to progress, but nah. Yeah, I think we could win an MVP with one of our guys this season. I would not be surprised. So uh, are we predicted to be the best team in the West? Fourth best team in the league. West is kind of stacked with the Mavericks and Wolves. Who the Mavs have? I'm trying to think, 1998, who the Mavericks have? I wasn't even born then. J Kidd and Tim Duncan gets drafted to Dallas. Ah, J Kidd and Tim Duncan is a fire duo. Whoa, that's never happened before, huh? Yeah, if they play together, that probably would have been deadly. And then the Wolves, we already know, they got KG and Antonio Davis. So KG and Anthony Davis's father on the same team. And bro, our record is, we are just cooking. We're cooking. Hold on, 60 wins, 60 wins and 22 L's. Grant Hill back to back MVP, bro is relevant. Um, Tim Duncan, rookie of the year. Stefan Marbury, sixth man. How are we not most improved? Derek Fisher's most improved? How you get eight points and you get most improved? The hell is this? Okay, all good. Curry and Shaq, both all NBA first team and then Kobe is nowhere to be found. That's tough. Okay, we're the first seed in the West, of course, and Shaq. We turn off injuries, by the way, because the issue is Curry is very injury prone, especially in a more physical era. He gets ass beat, but you know, Curry averaged 27 and 10, which is fire. Kobe averaged 20, and then Shaq averaged 23 and 12. Yeah, this trio is the best of all time, and we're just getting started. Round one should be an easy. Why, why is it tied up? Hold on. 2 1. Come on now. We end up. Wow, we're going to a game five. Let's hop in the Simcast here. It should not be this close. Let's pull it off, man. We're playing in the, in the, it's not the Staples Center. It's the Forum. They called it, what was it? The FedEx Forum. No, I don't even know what it's called. Hey, it's low-key a close game. Let me jump in. Up by one with two left. It's called the Great Western Forum. I'm looking at the, the half-court logo. All right, they got Todd Gibson's father, Daniel Gibson. And in the paint, Tim Duncan. I don't know who's guarding him, but he does a good enough job. Curry's not in the game, not sure why. It's all good though, we got Shaq in the paint. Getting double teams. Don't step out of bounds. There you go, nice. Yeah, Curry fouled out, he has six fouls, which is tough, because he had 23 points for us. Shaq with 21 points, Kobe with 17, and 11 assists. I like this, it's a big game, bro. We can't lose in the first round back-to-back -back years. I gotta figure out who this power forward is, guarding him, he's doing great. I think that's John Sally, who's a former Piston player but just keep feeding Shaq. Or Kobe in the low post. He's tired. Come on, you gotta go up with it. Nice. Tim Duncan's getting shut down, bro. He's getting shut down, that's not gonna work. No sir. Defish, you just gotta feed Shaq. I want Shaq to baby Tim Duncan real quick. Nice pass, there you go. Easy. Tim Duncan, don't go 0 for 4 now. Damn, there you go. Defish, dagger. No. Can they come back? Hold on, Tim Duncan, he missed it, he blew it. That was their chance. Actually, Shaq's shooting free throws. He might miss them. First free throw. Yeah, they're still alive. Is that Curry? Is that Del Curry? Oh, what the hell is that? Del Curry. Oh, man. And that should be a wrap, man. Let's go ahead. Simcast it. And we win. We sh As we should have. Eddie Jones had to drop 33 for us to win. So that moves us to the second round up against the Supersonics, who went to the finals before. Um, obviously, they got Sean Kemp. Not even. Oh, yeah. He just fell off. Only 83 overall. It's kind of weird. Hersey Hawkins and then Gary Payton isn't on the team. They got Drazen Petrovic, rest in peace. This should be an easy sweep. And it was, 4-1, that was light work. And now we're up against the Denver Nuggets. So Denver has Reggie Miller, Antonio McDice, Mark Aguirre. That alone is a pretty stacked trio. How's Reggie doing this season? 26 points per game in the playoffs. I don't think it's guaranteed we win this. Let's see, 3-1 and, all right, that's pretty simple. And we go to the finals against the Pistons. In 1998, the Pistons were not that good, but let's see who's on the team. Oh, MVP, Grant Hill. Yeah, Grant Hill, who's healthy. Joe Dumars, Terry Porter. Got a bunch of old heads on the team, bro. So can Grant Hill carry them to a chip? Probably not. Damn, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're down 3-1, wait a minute, wait a minute. 3-2, <sighs> all right, game seven. You know, sometimes they just trick me like that. But Kobe and Curry dropping 31 here. Keeping us alive. Curry had 37 and 15. Okay, game seven for our first chip. We're playing at home too. I'm trying to think. Grant Hill is, is a beast, but I mean, we have, we got people everywhere. Yup, yup. Up by five, this should be good enough for the victory. And we win it by six. 
Winning our first chip, Curry had 38 points, Kobe with 17, Shaq only with 12, but he's doing it with the rebounds and blocks as well. And Curry so far is the best player on our team. And does he win Finals MVP? Yes sir. Averaging 33 and 9 assists. Yeah, he's going off. So off to a good start, man. Only took up until year two to win our first ring. All right, year three, Kobe and Shaq, both 94 overalls, Curry's in 93. Um, you know, our, our bench isn't horrible, not the best, but I genuinely believe if we had a 40 overall bench, we could still make it far. Just because how dominant these three guys are. So year three, let's go back to back. We're flying through this season. You know, theoretically, we should win like at least 73 games like without a problem. We won 66. Curry's the first MVP out of the three. Uh, the goal is to have all of them win MVP. But yeah, he wins it. What's the stat line looking like? Real quick, 30 and 10 assists. Dirk rookie of the year. Shaq defensive player of the year. So both of our guys, two out of the three, winning awards. And Kobe, still not all NBA. It doesn't matter, who cares? It's a stupid award. All right, let's see. Kobe averaged 22, Shaq with 25. Bro, we can go back to back easy. Similar playoffs, and I don't think there's anyone gonna hold, yeah, no one's gonna hold us. Wow, wow. Yeah, we ran through it. We almost, yeah, we had a perfect playoff run, not one L, which is what they're used to. It's what Curry's used to. So now, the goal is to go uh, 73 and nine. And their chemistry is really good together because, I mean, the morale is making them higher overalls. Already in 97 for Kobe, and he's not even our best player on the team, technically. Um, if you look at the best players in the league, I think all three of them are the top three. Yeah, for the first time ever in a video, that our three players are the best three players in the league. And it's because we chose this time frame in 1999. League isn't as stacked yet. But nah, I mean, Curry is fitting in perfectly in this era. So for those that, that said that he wouldn't last, you know, in the, in the 90s, he's doing pretty good. Two chips already. KG now steals the MVP award, Manu Rookie of the Year. Joe Smith, who just, that's just such a basic name, bro. Like, you know how every NBA player has like a cool name? Bro, you can't be in the NBA named Joe Smith. You know, like how many people in the world do you know is named Jason Tatum? You know, only one. How many people with the name LeBron do you know? Only one. Carmelo. Like, some people are just destined, like Abdullah. Some people are just destined to have names to be in the NBA. Okay, let's three-peat. We should sweep. I got to see our record, by the way. I didn't check. Yo, we are just... That was kind of close. All right, yeah, we three-peated. Kobe wins Finals MVP. What was the stat line here? Hold on. Game one, Kobe had 37. Shaq isn't scoring as much, but that's fine. We don't need him to. Game two, Curry had 22. Who's Mustaf? Jared Mustaf. Not a real person. Okay. Game three, what happened here? Kobe had 34 uh, and 10 assists on efficient shooting. 18 free throws is crazy. And then Shaq had 30 in game four. But uh, I want to see our team stats. So like our record was 69 to 13. We've yet to cross 70 wins. And then for team stats, I want to see three pointers made per game. We're not even number one, we're third. So I thought that was gonna be a huge thing for us. Not really. Assists per game. We're second. Rebounds, not even in the top five. I don't know how we're doing it. I guess we just got good players. And Curry wins MVP twice, so I'm, I'm still waiting for Kobe and Shaq to win it because they're higher overalls, but Curry's taking the cake. Shaq is getting the DPO wise. So, um, Stephon Marbury, Steph, and a whole lot of Stephs. Shaq, is Kobe all NBA yet? No. It's really weird. Okay, what did he average this year? He broke, he's a 99 overall. How is he not winning anything? 26 points per game. What about awards? Uh, Three-time All-Star, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know, I spent more out of a 99 overall player, but is what it is. I'll take it, bro. Eddie Jones, shout out to him. He's low-key been holding it down too, off the bench. So uh, I think, you know, this trio might prove to be our best one yet. Uh, yeah. We play the 76ers, are we in 01? Yeah, we're in, this happened in real life, right? I think the Lakers played the 76ers in 01. And Shaq had 30, Allen Iverson had 29, then he had 45. But the rest of his team is so garbage, I kind of feel bad for him. Then I don't, because, you know, it's 2K. I feel bad for him in real life, though. Um, Curry had 45, Kobe had 40. Damn. Like that LeBron and Kyrie meme. And then Kobe had 40 again, with six steals. Jeez, let's keep going. And fast forward a million years later, we're still on top, man. Steph Curry is still winning finals MVPs at the age of 38, bro. Did he retire? Uh, no, he didn't. But let's call it a wrap here. The year is 2014. Remember, we started in 96. That makes it, let's do the math. 
you know, 14 minus 96, negative 82. <laughs> type type B. Okay, so look, Kobe's a 96 overall, Curry's 94, Shaq's the 89. We had 18 years. And what did we do in 18 years? We ended up winning 14 ring. Very, very successful trio. Remember, usually when we, when we damn, usually when we win over like 10, 12 rings, it's with a team of like five stars or more. This is a trio, and they maintained, you know, relevancy. Curry won four MVPs. And then Shaq got himself two MVPs. Let's look at their stats during their career. For Shaq, 23, 11, and 2.5. Uh, Steph Curry averaged 27 and 10 assists. And then Kobe, who was our highest overall player the whole time, averaged 24 and 7. So if we go to the league history, NBA records, most points in a season, none of our guys, most points in their career, Steph Curry, basically, he has one more year in him. He would be number one. But he passed, he, he you know, crossed 40,000 points, which is insane. No one's done that before. And then for three-pointers made, somehow Pages Stojakovic got more than Curry. But it's because, I actually don't know. Maybe because Curry has more, like, ball-dominant teammates. Regardless, though, this was a very successful trio. Curry, Kobe, Shaq, best one yet, I believe. Hopefully you enjoyed it, man. Comment down below what you want to see next. I'll catch you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.